Are you Shane? You must be really delighted with your display there and the team's display uh, today, Shane. Um, yeah, look, I mean, it was kind of contrasting to uh, last week. Um, you know, I think last week we lacked a lot of aggression from the word go. I think we started off today, you know, on a completely different foot and um, just really went out there with just looking to nail down the first 15, 20 minutes and just really hit them hard, just get in, get stuck in, which we didn't do last week. Um, I think it was real role reversal like compared to compared to what we did. So look I mean we're happy in some aspects. Obviously the scoreline at the end is a bit tight but uh like there's definitely positives to take out of it. I and mean, we took positives definitely from last week and if you can't go out and be aggressive in these kind of games this time you're you're uh, you're gonna be struggling, you know. So uh, it was, it was really nice you'd be back in though at midfield you were out there through injury there last year and uh, you're back in you're really grabbing that place for yourself at uh, the moment. Yeah definitely like um Getting over the injuries has been the toughest part of the last few years, I'd say more than 12 months, but uh, I'm just delighted to be able to keep out there. Um, so, fingers crossed, I can stay fit and healthy and grow. Obviously, it's, it's good to be playing well, but obviously, the team is uh, the bigger picture. If I can play well and the team wins, I'm, it's, uh, it's that's a big part of it, really, you know. Yeah. It was a really battle in the first half, I suppose. You kind of stepped it up to the gears in the second half and really kind of opened up with it. Yeah, look. Like, the first half, you know, I think a lot of lads came off panting. Um, they were very tired at halftime uh, because it was just ferocious. Like Kilkenny always bring that, and now anytime you play them, they just, you know, you have to admire them all. Like, I mean, we've had fierce admiration for them all down through the years and the way they play. And a lot of teams try to copy literally their aggression and their intensity. It was very intense in the first half, and I think the second half we started really well. Um, we got a couple of scores on the board really, really early and caught a couple of frees, um, which was very positive. I suppose the last little bit. You know, maybe we didn't realise that we were only maybe three or four up um, uh, towards the end. And I think obviously, you know, we, I thought there was probably a few soft frees that kind of brought them back into a bit. But look, we definitely have to learn that, you know, it isn't over until it's over, like until the whistle goes, because, you know, it did only come down to a point in the end. So, um, you know, we'll have to learn from that definitely. And, and the goals, one in either half, they were really important. You know, John Connors and first one in punches, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, even the goal we got there in the second half really drove us on and it steadied the ship a good bit um, because, you know, we were, it was nip and tuck there for a while. And, you know, it, it was just, with Kilkenny, you just can't, can't let up any bit. And you see that. Um, it did give us that bit of a cushion, but, you know, the thing is, it's just <laughs> to learn that uh, no matter who you're playing, but particularly Kilkenny, you just cannot take the foot off the gas because they're you know they're deadly and most teams are going to punish you if you do that but you know there is definitely positives um, goals are to help but you just have to try and improve for next day you know? Shane uh, your running game off the shoulder paid an awful lot of dividends in the second half Dermot Ryan uh, David Fitzgerald yourself you're able to create overlaps and make inroads uh, into the Kilkenny defence especially Dermot there in the second half he was able to chip over a good few scores running at the Kilkenny defence uh, from deep yeah, it definitely worked because the long ball at times just wasn't it wasn't sticking and it wasn't going to the right place. So, like you know, we kind of have ourselves to blame for that in a way. But I think we just adapted on the field to and, and seen that and just said, you know, we had to just work the ball and just take it and break tackles. Um, you know, we did break tackles, we hit ball in, it wasn't sticking, so we just had to change the plan a little bit and just run with. And you know, it did pay dividends. Like you know, we did get onto some nice scores. We created a lot. Um, Again, it's definitely you know something in the game like just game management that uh, fortunately we're able to, to spot and, and take advantage of you know it's good that way contrasting performances this week and, and last week you'd be hoping to kind of build on, on today really oh yeah definitely look it's a learning curve I mean you know, we had a good Munster League campaign mm-hmm. we're, we're on a on a bit of a roll with that and then you know we had a the, the day in Thurless last weekend which you know definitely hit us hard and in a certain way we just weren't as prepared like mentally as maybe Tip were and Tip had we're out for a little bit of range, but you know it's definitely building now. Like we've three more in the group game, so we we're back out in two weeks against Cork. I think um, so. Definitely, look, every game is just going to build. Like you can't be looking too far back. You just learn, move on. The games are coming, ticking fast. You just have to move on to the next game. And look, definitely, we'll we'll learn a lot from today. We'll learn a lot from last week, and hopefully, we'll put put those learnings together and and improve for the next few days. Out. I think you're in, in a good place now that it's only February facing the championship. Yeah, well, you know it's. It's February, short month, like you, you won't feel until the, the league will be over, it'll be over your middle or end of March and you know from that you've a club month and then you're, you're right into it, you know your first game is uh, the 12th of May I think so, 
literally won't feel it. So you just have to keep building. Like I know myself from experience that, like when you're in, you're in, and if if you you know get injuries and if if things go bad for you, you could be out and you mightn't you mightn't get a look in again. Um, so the league is definitely gonna be a big building block for all teams, but especially for us. Like you know, we're trying different lads. We're trying different kind of uh, plays and all sorts so you know again as I said the championship will be closing fairly quickly we won't feel it so we just have to keep building for that and keep one eye on that as well down the line. So. It's tough thanks for it. Right, so